Alexis Gajoria, Team Bandero, Team Rocket, Team Gazoo, and Paul Lee. Got a new look. They had the kaboom last time. Brought out the Silver Sport transmission body. I decided if you change the body, it must have been a kaboom. That's bigger than a kerbang. And, you know, everybody knows that, you know, that's way bigger than a kerpop, but it wasn't a kablooey. You can follow him on Twitter, folks, NHRA Reinhardt, to get a more detailed explanation. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Kaplop. Different sizes of explosions. Kablooey. Kablooey is self-explanatory. Yeah. If you see a kablooey, you know it's a kablooey. I think it's impressive that to get in the top half, you got to run 389. Alexis DeJore is qualified at 3.907. If she stays there, she will not have lane choice in round number one. Paul Lee qualified at a 396. And new body coming out. The boys getting ready to try to do something tomorrow. They've talked about it quite a bit this year. Trying to find more consistency. Paul Lee's a guy who's not afraid to make changes, not afraid to buy what he needs, not afraid to do what he needs to do, but he wants to see results. Yeah, very successful in life, very successful in business. Paul's a great guy as well. Been driving since the 1980s though and always had big show aspirations he's now got a great car he's put together a team just about finding that chemistry and getting it done Alexis shuts off 393 328 miles an hour for Paul Lee all right that's a little better it's going to get him one spot better up to the number 13 spot Alexis goes 457 at 183 miles an hour Look at the early numbers on the run. They were both pretty darn close together out there. Let's go down to Jason. And I'm down here with Jason Bunker, who's just talking with Dustin Heim, the co-crew chief's on that machine for Paul Lee. Big boom last time, good run here. Yeah, we needed to come back after uh, Q4. Uh, hats off to our guys, man. Everybody here has been working their butts off all weekend. Uh, really, you know we needed that big time right there to move up, but uh, good baseline going into uh, Indy on Sunday, on Monday. It's his first Monday. That's why he made that mistake. His first Monday as a crew chief here, Alan. Take another look at this one from the far end of the racetrack. First watch the Bandero car. That thing just looked like it started to puff the tire. You saw it kick the back end up. Not a whole lot wrong for Paul Lee's car, though, as always, right? Well, we wanted a little more. But it is also interesting that depending on if anything shuffles around at the top, Paul Lee was sitting in the number 14 spot. That's a first-round date as it stands right now with Bob Tasca, right?